anyway, for some final story, something interesting I saw. I was watching uh, the Lou Later uh, podcast uh, a week ago. Or, yeah, a week ago. And I saw him discussing something interesting. Now, I used to think that, you know, uh, a device that is gold-plated is somewhat expensive. I didn't realize how expensive one could be until I, uh, I saw this one. So, uh, a gold iPhone... You know, can be expensive compared to a regular iPhone, right? But what surprised me is the other products that they are selling here. So, uh, let me show you this. Uh, I saw this. Uh, so, they not only sell iPhones, they also other products from iPad, I Apple Watch, and so forth. But you will be astonished how much it costs uh, to buy one of those. Obviously, much, much more expensive than a regular uh, device here. So... Let me show you here. So here we are, we are caviar.com. So caviar is a luxury store. Obviously from the name itself, caviar, one of the most expensive uh, items that you could buy. You know, it's a delicacy. It's very rare. That's why it's expensive. The rarer an item, obviously the more expensive here. So you can see here that they're showcasing different products here. Now, what caught my attention is not the iPhone. Now, look at the price here. It's costing around 5,000 bucks. So it's not cheap. So 5,000, you know, how much is that in peso? 250,000. So, and you can see here the iPods, they have sneakers. You know, that's not what caught my attention. Now, I thought, you know, there's such thing as too much. But, you know, uh, looking at their catalog, you can see you have iPhone, you have other products. But what caught my attention is this one, the PlayStation 5. Right, it's gold plated. Now you might say, sir, uh, that's not expensive. It costs five thousand bucks, six thousand. No, no. If we were to take a closer look, the gold plated is much, much more expensive. And how expensive? Take a closer look here. So a Sony PlayStation Five, the Golden Rock, is costing around four hundred thousand dollars. And it's much cheaper to buy a carbon fiber Sony PlayStation. This is what excess would look like, right? You thought buying a, a expensive sports car, expensive. Buying a gold-plated PlayStation 5 is, you know, the ultimate expensive here. Since you can't bring it anywhere and, you know, people could steal it if you just leave it at home. You know, this is what you call excess at its apex, right? And, and... You know, doing the research here in their website, the PlayStation 5 console here is the most expensive item that you could buy here. Uh, so you could check it out if you're interested. They have several products here. It's not just the caviar company that sells those products. There are others that I was surprised to see that are offering, you know, luxury items, gold-plated and whatnot. So you can see here, tablets, gaming consoles, smartphone devices, all of those. So... To your heart's contents and you know and then it got me interested to look at other aspects of how extravagant you can convert your regular ps5 and to my surprise i was able to find something interesting not expensive but you know something different altogether which is you know uh, obviously a regular ps5 is you know it's plasticky right you know, the, the case the cover itself is made out of plastic now uh, I saw a video from DIY Perks, which I'll show you in a bit. He converted the external coverings by using uh, brass, which is look astonishing. I think much, much better than putting gold plated here. So you could, you know, showcase it as a display piece and so forth. So let me show you. So here's his video. So you can check out his website, DIY Perks, uh, if you're interested. Anyway, so he used this uh, PS5 to create a something, you know, extraordinary. Now, taking note, he mentions here that, you know, the curvature of the PlayStation is difficult to curve out, especially if you're, you're using bronze as a material to, you know, replicate the casing here. So let's see here what he did here. So he took apart, so use a sheet of brass, try to replicate the externals here. So it's a difficult process here. And as mentioned here in his uh, title, and he was able to replicate here. 
and I can so this is the centerpiece. The so he was able to bend it. Now the difficult part here is you know the, the buttons which able to do. In the middle, and then not only that, he was going to create the, the, the course, side panel, so to speak. So that's the key part. So how do you bend it so that it looks nice? I've wrapped each one in and it took to him some time charge. to be able to do this, some trial and error. So he was of caution, heating it up so it would follow the the curvature the of the shape. And, you know, so to my astonishment, once he did it, he reassembled it. It looks tremendous. Especially as it's so putting in the pins here, so let me skip here. So you can see here he put in the pins here so he can put it back together. Doing some polishing afterwards. And ta-da! So let me skip here. So it looks premium. It looks nice. Now I don't know how is this going to work uh, in terms of heat, right? Dissipation. So it looks great. This looks like an art piece that you'd like displayed at your house. Obviously, this one is a working console here. So it looks great. <laughs> So this is the finished model now i've seen other people try to do something more uh elaborate in a sense here uh, sorry nature of the brass combined with the so something less elaborate design, in terms of uh, what did they do ah water cooling it which is a is different experience so you can check it out but anyway so for you know for those enthusiasts do you want to spend tens Tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars for an upgraded version of your PS PlayStation, you know, go right ahead. And if you want something more fancy or less fancy or less costly, uh, putting brass would be another interesting thought here. <laughs> well, one can only wish.